It's time for Food, food Adventure Program for, for awesome, awesome People! The Fishy Edition. I know a lot of you are expecting us to go wanking today and instead of ruin the fat fat. I know. But that's because at the end of the week we're going on vacation. So What? What's that? Vacation? Va vacation? I don't know what that word is. It's foreign, isn't it? I think it's a Wegukin word. It's an Va unusual thing for us. So, so does that mean that we're not going to be working and putting out lots of videos? That's not the case! We're still putting out lots of videos! <laughs> yeah, we're pre-filming a lot of our videos in advance and then we'll be uploading them from Japan. And we're going to try to do a little bit of like tiny video adventures when we're in Japan. And then we can put video! I, my pronunciation went wrong there, but you guys know what I'm trying to say, uh, right? We're going to do Japan invites Simon and Martina! Anyhow, we have digressed terribly. We're supposed to be talking about fish. So we know that a lot of people in the comments have been saying things like everything's supposed to be meat oriented and you're totally right. It is really tough to be vegetarian in Korea. So today we don't eat meat. We eat we the fish. We eat the fish, okay? It's the same, you know? Well, it's You're for... vegetarian, here is good. Okay, it's for the pescatarians, <laughs> technically. And my mom is a pescatarian. She only eats fish. So this is for you, mom. I love my mom. You have a nice mom. My mom is nice. I love my mom. Yes, you do. Mom. Yes, your mom. Mom. Now, a lot of people don't really eat a lot of fish when they come to Korea. They're mostly used to the Samgyeopsal and the Galbis. Fish is really intimidating here. Fortunately, we found a really cool restaurant that serves some awesome fish. You could definitely order it when you come to Korea. It's delicious and you're gonna love it. So the menu at this restaurant is very simple. There's no menu handed to you anywhere. It's just mm -hmm. up on the wall. And there's basically just two choices of fish. Samshigui, Gorengagui, which are both white fish. I don't know what the translations are yeah. in English. I'm thinking it's some kind of like a mackerel or river fish. And it's not a forest fish either. None of the trees, not those None of those fish. weird forest fish flying about. No. And then your other choice is basically a jjigae, so some kind of a stew. They have like a kimchi jjigae, they have Bude a kimchi jjigae. Budae jjigae, We're going to the budae jjigae today. Yeah. This is the hardest part about being at a restaurant. Really it doesn't have a table bell. They've got do the yogi but it's really hard to do because I feel like it's really rude, but it's not rude. It's totally normal part of culture. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try. Ready? Go for it. It's so scary. Ready? Okay. It didn't work. I'm gonna try it again. Yogiyo! Samchigui hana? Hago wa kurejigi hana juseyo. Samchigui na kurejigi yo. That's embarrassing. It was successful. Yogi-yo, please I'm so scared. Sa. Best banchan. So pretty, right? I'm thinking of it. Glorious. Look at all this food, awesome, right? Mm. Okay, when it comes to the banchan, this is honestly one of the prettiest restaurants we've ever seen for banchan. Mm. Usually it just comes out in like these little circle bowls, mm. but here we have like these gorgeous square little bowls. like prepared things. And they're all wavy. We got mashed potatoes, mm. we've got a kind of dried squid like ojingo that's uh -huh. been pressed uh -huh. and put in like a peppery sauce. Mm. We've got, are these beef or odin today? Odin. Okay, it's little mm. like fish cakes. Mm -hmm. This is a vegetable, probably I don't know what. Kimchi. Kimchi, of course. Mm -hmm. We have a little Mielchi, bit of Mielchi, these are like little baby fishies. That have like been fried like, in yeah. It. Mm. And then we've got um, gochu, so mm. spicy hot pepper. Mm -hmm. And then of course we have the glorious mm. samjigui. And budejige is what's threading for us on a, a little burner. Okay, so our soup came with a burner right here. It's got a little gas canister right there. First thing you gotta do is you gotta push down that button right there to get the gas flowing. And then you just turn that on and you'll see the little flame burning underneath. So this is the part a lot of foreigners find intimidating about eating fish in Korea. It's usually served totally whole and it's very, very fresh, like right out of a tank. And this kind of thing seems to be off-putting to a lot of people. And truthfully, when we first came here too, we were like, I don't know how to eat this. I want to show you guys how to remove the spine. So I'm just going to put my chopsticks on the edges just to kind of like loosen it up first. I want to see where the spine is. It's on this side here. Okay, and I'm going to stick my chopsticks underneath the top. And I'm just patting with my chopsticks underneath so that I don't lose too much of the actual flesh. Spine is out. And now, if I just stick my chopsticks right in the middle here and separate them, pure fishy goodness. Look at that. Ooh. Perfect. Look at that. Totally amazing.
seriously, you'd think that a fish wouldn't fill you up, but it fills you up. So Why would like, you think that a fish wouldn't fill you up? I don't know. I just feel like eating a fish just seems like it would just be like small. Why are you asking me these questions on camera? You ate a very big fish the I size did. of my forearm. It's a, it's a pretty huge fish. After eating this, we could survive in a wilderness like Gollum from Lord of the Rings because I feel like oh. if you could just cook this and eat it, it's delicious. Except Gollum doesn't fry his fish. Well, he eats sushi. He likes some raw. I'm sorry. He has sushi. And we didn't talk about the gutting of the fish either. Oh right, there's actually no gutting inside of here. This is uh -huh. just pure fishy, fleshy goodness. They've already removed the like, innards and everything. The guts. That was kind of an important detail we left out, wasn't it? Yeah, there's so no guts in here. Mm. I don't like fish guts. So the Sam Chigui costs 9,000 won, the Bude Chicken costs 7,000 won. Altogether 16,000 won, which is roughly 15 bucks for the two of us to eat and be completely stuffed. We can't even finish this all. I don't have to worry about the fishy smell in my house. I can come here and just eat it and then worry about fishy breath. <sighs> oh, the joys of marriage. Well, his mouth is bigger than mine and it, it created like a vortex of double fishing. Well, now that we've filled up on our fish and kimchi, it's time to roll our bodies home and, and brush our teeth. Or we can just take a nap here first. Some of you guys might remember this a while ago. We tweeted about this picture at a restaurant and we couldn't decide what the picture was. One of us said it was a beaver and one of us said it was a bear. People on Twitter voted for us and in the end, I was correct. It was a bear. Only because we asked the restaurant and they said that it was a bear, mm -hmm. but I said it was a beaver and everybody on Twitter says beaver. No, no, no. Those are beaver teeth. No, that's his nose. That's the no. arch and that's his no, nose. No, no, no. He's holding a dead fish. Because Only bears eat fish. fish friend. He's no. Like, My friend died, I'm so sad. That doesn't even make any sense. No, it it's does. a fish restaurant. Are you saying that animals can't intermingle because like they're racist? No. It's like this is my fish friend, Nemo, and somebody killed it and I'm Okay, to begin death. with, there are no beavers in the movie Nemo. So and, and if a beaver <laughs> found a fish, he would numb him. That's not necessary. And he'd be true. like, I killed my friend. Beavers are vegetarians. Well then they're obviously not eating fish, are they? Simon knows nothing about vegetables? animals. Nothing. Mm -hmm.